Meet Quantix. The Quantum Computer Game is an exciting new iOS and Android-based game that is designed to crowdsource the compilation and optimization of quantum algorithms for real-world quantum computing systems. Inspired by similar efforts in the biological sciences, we are asking the public to help us develop the next generation of quantum technology by programming large-scale quantum computers through a simple three-dimensional puzzle game. Developed by quantum computing experts, Mequantix is based on state-of-the-art techniques in quantum architecture designs and topological quantum error correction. The problems solved in Mequantix will be used to program real quantum computing systems being developed worldwide. The puzzles in Mequantix, which represent actual quantum circuits, can be manipulated, stretched, and molded without changing the computation they are performing. The volume of a puzzle is directly related to the physical resources needed to perform a computation. And by reducing the size of a topological quantum circuit, you ultimately reduce the size of the quantum computer needed to run the program. Dr. Simon Devitt and Professor Kai Namoto have led the scientific development of Mequonix based on their research in topological quantum computing architectures. Hi, I'm Simon Devitt. I'm the scientific lead on the Mequonix project and currently a senior research scientist at the Japanese Institute, Riken. Over the past 10 years, myself and colleagues have been responsible for the design of many large-scale quantum computing and communications architectures. Ever since the first proposals for quantum computing were put forth in the 1980s and 1990s, researchers from around the world have been in a race in order to build a new class of exciting new technologies based upon the often spooky and weird rules of physics at the atomic scale. Quantum technologies has the potential to revolutionize the information sector in the 21st century because of the ability for quantum computers to perform calculations in a fundamentally different and faster way than a standard computer. The success has already been quite significant with newspaper article after newspaper article being released showing that quantum engineers can now successfully fabricate and control very small quantum computers consisting of only a handful of quantum bits, or qubits for short. Experimental physicists and engineers at both universities and private corporations have demonstrated small quantum computers in a variety of physical systems. Notable examples include researchers at Google who have recently demonstrated a highly accurate quantum computer in superconducting circuits, research that was mirrored at IBM. Physicists at the University of Innsbruck in Austria can create small quantum computers using cooled atoms. Australian researchers in 2015 demonstrated silicon-based quantum technologies. And a large effort at the University of Bristol has pioneered qubit technology using single particles of light, known as photons. Although still in its infancy, physicists and engineers have proven that quantum technology can work, and with continued investment can hopefully revolutionize the sector. However, there is still much work to be done. Although quantum computing systems can be physically very different, the general operating principle for all architectures are identical. The hardware prepares a regular lattice of qubits, which are then sequentially measured as computation proceeds. The way in which these qubits are measured allow us to define the geometric structure and execute a quantum circuit. These circuits are topological in nature, which allows us to do something interesting. If you stretch and mold the shape of a coffee cup, Without breaking it or cutting it, you can turn it into a donut. The structures are topologically equivalent. They have a single hole. In this way, topological quantum circuits have the same properties. In this model of quantum computing, the quantum circuit itself is actually a complicated three-dimensional puzzle, with pieces of the puzzle winding around each other like a ball of string. It's this weaving and braiding that actually performs the computation, and its physical size tells us how many qubits and how much time we require in order to perform the computation. These complicated looking shapes combine both the quantum algorithm itself and the powerful error correction needed to ensure an error-prone quantum computer still gives the right answer. The details about how this works can be separate from the problem Mequonix is designed to solve. No expertise in quantum physics or quantum computing is necessary to make a real-world impact on cutting-edge research. The aim of Mequonix is quite simple. We provide the player with a quantum circuit. This circuit is then encoded using the complicated techniques and theorems into a three-dimensional puzzle. 
The player's aim is then simply to make this puzzle smaller. That's it. Mechonix folds in all of the complicated quantum physics and quantum information into its code base, such that the player cannot actually change the algorithm being implemented. But by making it smaller and smaller, they reduce resources and allow you to actually program a future quantum computer. Mequonix is the first crowdsourced project in quantum computing that is designed specifically to solve an important scientific problem. Mequonix is an attempt to use the creativity of the human mind to produce solutions that will be directly implemented on future quantum computers. Klaus Brugman, a commercial game designer with years of experience in Europe and Japan, joined the project at its inception and developed the initial client. His belief has been that the game itself has to be easy, simple to use, extremely intuitive, and appeal to a broad audience. Living in Japan, you see people playing on their mobile phones all the time. On the train, on the way to work, when they are waiting in line, even at social get-togethers. And when playing, all those people are actually solving logical problems. I mean, gaming is exercise for the mind, if anything, and games that don't present any challenge are not fun. You can say when gaming we inadvertently are learning. Within the fictional universe of the game, we are accumulating knowledge, we are building up experience and we do research. But why does it have to be fictional? I'm working on Mechonix because I'm excited that gaming can be more than just entertainment. It, it kind of eliminates that uh, waste of time aspect from gaming. The proliferation of smartphones and tablet devices over the last five years, coupled with the internet connectivity that each of these devices has, opens up a new realm of possibilities for scientific gaming. They provide a great playground for game creators. Mechanics supersedes previous efforts of crowdsourcing scientific research via gaming in that it allows players to feedback puzzle moves continuously. Every time a user arrives at a slightly higher performing configuration of a circuit, her strategy to get there is uploaded to our database where other players can pick it up and continue her work where she left off. And this opens a whole new dimension of real-time cooperative multiplayer. It's essentially uh, it's the social media version of solving a science problem. So far, the support offered to the Mequonix project from academic sources within Japan has allowed the team to create the basic elements of the game and to begin to develop a narrative that will engage users and help grow the platform. In a nutshell, in Mequonix, the player is um, writing and upgrading her own quantum rig which is a vessel that is sailing through a quantum slipstream and that is powered by a drive that consists of these circuits that the player is manipulating while playing. And the more she optimizes these circuits, the faster her rig will fly. Working with digital artist Edon Gray, Mechonix will build in a story narrative as well as an interactive environment for online players where each person will race to optimize quantum circuits to help power their quantum rig and actually race against others in order to find the most resource optimal solution to each quantum circuit. Mechonix will be a 100% non-specialist casual game competing with all the entertainment only puzzle games out there today. We are dedicated to design the user interface in a way that allows for immediate enjoyment without any prior knowledge, which is a challenge that many previous efforts to um, to bring together research and gaming have been struggling with. The biggest challenge in designing Mechonix is to allow for the manipulation of complex 3D structures on um, 2D touch screens. Our goal is to produce something that is um, both entertaining for gamers and extremely valuable for the scientific community. Quantum computing and active quantum technologies are expected to become a revolutionary new part of the information processing landscape in the 21st century. And from the public perspective, quantum computing has captivated the imagination of many people worldwide. This is an opportunity for the general public to be deeply involved at the ground level to this wonderful and exciting new field of technological development. By helping to support the Mequonix project, anybody 
be the person responsible for programming the world's first large-scale quantum computer.